All right, so today I'm going to be going over the technique of tying Wally wings, which is a really good entryway into tying realistic mayflies, emergers, and caddises. And that's what I have here in the vise is a caddis that I did with this. And you can see the wings, especially when viewed from above, look really good and nice and naturally segmented like you would expect from a real caddis. So like a moth or something. And it looks good. It's easy to tie. So I'm going to be demonstrating how to tie it. I have a size 10 hook in the vise, which is just what I'm using to demonstrate. And then all you'll need to do the wings themselves are, um, or is a mallard flank feather, which I've stripped the stem and you'll see why later, but stripping the stem doesn't matter as much. I just prefer it. All right, let's get tying. I'm just building up a bit of a thread base. I'm just going to tie these down around where the center of the hook is. But since I'm not tying a particular pattern, it doesn't really matter. And now I take my mallard flank feather. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. So what I do is I take my hackle pliers, which here I have some rotary ones, and just pinch the very tip of the feather so you can see here I try and pinch along the stem and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rest of the loose fibers and I'm gonna stroke them back like so I try and get all the fibers I can all right so right there is looking like about all the fibers I can so now I unclamp it from my hackle pliers and I'm going to use exactly what you can see here to tie my wally wings so from here you want every fiber to be stroked back see there's a stray one you'll need that to be stroked back and then I just measure it out to what I want on this hook which Again, I'm not tying a particular pattern. There's no proportions here I need to match. So I'm just going to tie as large as I can for viewing purposes for you guys. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to do a loose wrap and then tight wraps. Now I'm going to trim the excess right here. Just trim every little excess fiber especially if you were tying a specific pattern and I'm trying to get that last little bit so that it looks nice all right there we go now I'm getting it so now that I've tied down every little bit and I have this thing here I'm going to split this into two wally wings. So what I do here is I locate the very closest fiber of the feather to the beginning of my wally wing. And I take it either with tweezers or by hand. I generally use tweezers to isolate it like so. And then I just get it with my hand and what I do here is I strip the fiber along the stem of the hook and then I trim it. You do not want to trim the stem of the feather itself. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side to separate it from the stem and you can't actually get a few. See. I think I have like three or four right now. So just same concept on the other side. Trim the little feather stem. And now, it depends on how you tied it in. It may be already in the position you want it, the wings. But you can just stroke them back. And just sort of position them however you want. I've seen dry flies done 
where these are sticking up like wing posts, like what you'd see on an Adam's dry fly. And it looks incredible. It's great for doing adult mayfly imitations, and I like it a lot. However, I have not gotten to the point where I'm comfortable enough with these Wally wings to do that. I'm just going to strip this extra feather and trim that. Maybe eventually I'll get there. And I'll if I do, I'm definitely going to make a video on that because that's impressive. And then, yeah, who knows? I've seen um, even extended body hexes um, done with Wally wings as, like, the wing post. And it looks great. I can imagine the trout rise for it like crazy, just like a badger or furnace hackle with it. So, yeah, that's about it for today's video. So, yeah, I'm putting out two shorts videos in a second. Um, one of them is going to be on tying a foam-winged caddis. And then the other one is going to be on um, just tying a simple BWO merger in, like, a size 18. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos and like and subscribe for more videos.